money, the engine that gets people moving, including also professional cyclists of course, looking for those juicy contracts to support their lives and those of their families. You want to know who the highest paid riders of the 2022 season are? You do? Well without any further ado, let the show begin. Number 20, Fernando Gaviria. This Colombian sprinter of the UAE Team Emirates has been in decline now for several seasons, as has happened with many other fast men who left Patrick Lefebvre's quickstep team. Maxteen has not been able to bring out the best version of the former winner of the Maglio Ciclamino and the Giro d'Italia, although this season he has already achieved two victories in the Tour of Oman, in fairness. Victory is very well paid, as his salary is 1.8 million euro per year. Number 19, Nairo Quintana. Our Nairito is a cycling legend. For some even the best climber of all time in terms of Palmares. Possibly that's why his salary at Arkea Samsic, a team that is not yet world tour, is amongst the highest paid in the peloton. This season he seems to have been revived with good places in world tour stage races and with a number of victories as well. So if he continues at this level, his 1.9 million euro salary won't be a millstone around the neck of his team either. Number 18, Elia Viviani. This Italian sprinter is one of the best pistards or track riders in the world. Although his performances in road races have declined dramatically in recent seasons, also since he left Quickstep. This year he has returned to his home, the British Ineos team, and he has kept his delicious contract conditions from Cofidis. No more and no less, as they say in cycling stories parlance, than 1.9 million euro per year. Not bad for the UCI ranked 55, right? Number 17, Jakob Fuglsang. The monster who planted terror in the Ardennes three seasons ago is still living off his epic year under, well rumour has it, the good graces of Dr. Michele Ferrari at Astana. Fuglsang has signed for the elephant's graveyard that is the Israeli outfit this season and despite dropping from 4th to 114th in the UCI rankings, he maintains at 37 years of age an impressive salary of 2 million euros a year. Number 16, Roman Bardet. We are very happy to see how the career of this French climber has shifted trajectory in recent seasons. Obsessed with the Tour de France in his years at AG2R, he now seems to focus in the pursuit of stages in Grand Tours and small stage races and even one day classics. A profile much more suited to his characteristics as a competitor. The former mononucleosis sufferer will have to step up this season if he wants to justify his 2 million euro salary. Number 15, Thibaut Pinot. Another French rider who promised to be a Tour de France champion, but has remained a monument and a podium winner in the French boucle. Not bad, but his last two blank campaigns, possibly in part due to the relationship of his former teammate, Georg Priegler in Operation Adderlass, make us think that his salary of 2 million euro for the ranking of 281 in the UCI listings is completely out of sync with reality. A hindrance for the Group AMA team, but let's see. 14th place, Adam Yates. Despite having worse results than his brother Simon throughout his career, Adam has a better salary than the bike exchange rider. Possibly because he's on one of the teams with the biggest budget, Ineos Grenadiers. The English climber's performances have increased in recent years and he's always well ranked in the tours that he participates in. So his 2 million euro salary is justified when looking at his performance in recent seasons. Number 13, Matteo van der Poel. If we were counting advertising revenues, we are convinced that this Dutch classics expert, sprinter and former cyclocross world champion would be in the top 5 of this list at least, but his salary at Alpes and Phoenix, a team that's not yet world tour, is not the highest despite the fact that he's been in the UCI top 10 for two consecutive seasons and is a winner and podium finisher of several monuments. The son of the dubbed for eating pigeon pie Adra van der Poel earns 2 million euro a year. Do you think that he deserves more? Number 12, Primus Roglic. Yes folks, the two time UCI number one and the three time Vuelta Espana winner is this low on the list. And believe me, we think he doesn't mind too much. 
This Slovenian champion has already stated that he would rather earn less money but be in a better team like Jumbo Visma than to be the star of a lesser outfit like Movistar. These values are what make great a man whose aim is to try to win more than just make money. Still, he gets 2 million euro that I doubt very much that you who see me and I who speak to you will ever see in our hands any day. Number 11. Vincenzo Nibali Unbelievable but true. At 37 years old and after having dropped his performance as is logical, the shark from Messina still keeps his salary of a Tour de France winner eight seasons later. He is signed for Astana this year but gets 2.1 million euro in return. We know that he's always going to show his face in the wind and not just drag himself around the roads. But we'll see if he manages to win any competition this year. It doesn't really look like it at the moment. Number 10. Wout van Aert We now reach the hot zone with the Belgian champion and the UCI number 2 Wout van Aert. A man capable of winning on all terrain and who for many would deserve to be at the top of this list. However, the same goes for him as for his teammate Primus Roglic. After leaving the Verandas Willems team in a sour way, what matters most to Van Aert is to be well supported and to have a team that provides him with the best material to win the classics and the competitions that he wants. And as seen so far in 2022, at least from the vantage point of the Cycling Stories helicopters, even the 2.2 million euro that our favourite Flandrian earns doesn't seem that much. Number 9. Richard Carapaz The Ecuadorian Olympic champion left Team Movistar when, according to his representative, he barely earned €150,000 before winning the Giro d'Italia in 2019. This explains why he signed for Ineos, where he continues to prove that he is one of the most courageous cyclists and one of the best climbers in the world, in exchange for €2.2 million Euro that will surely keep him fighting at the front to get the best for his humble family. Number 8. Alejandro Valverde 42 years old, the former Spanish world champion is still the best rider in the Movistar team. Although he is no longer ready to fight for stage races and has a pretty complicated two at the top level classics, the rider suspended for Operation Puerto is still earning money like no other Spanish rider, with 2.2 million euro entering his bank account every year. It's normal that he doesn't want to retire. Number 7. Julien Alaphilippe The French double world champion seems to be this season, like the rest of his team, imbued with an air of discouragement. The kind that exists when medical advantages available to you disappear. Too bad for the brave Lulu, one of the most exciting riders in the world when it comes to racing panache. Hopefully he'll return to his old level soon. He gets 2.3 million euros a year and he could get more but he was confident that Quickstep would be a team that would always give him the best material to win. We'll see if that continues in the future. Number 6. Mikhail Kwiatkowski One of the scariest contract renewals in recent years was the one proposed by Ineos to this former Polish world and monument champion. One of the best classics and Super Gregario riders of the past decade, who despite being 31 years old, is not even a shadow of his former self. His last victory being a stage win given away by Richard Carapaz in the Tour de France two years ago. Still, he's getting paid as if it were 2018 and taking two and a half million euro a year. A big heist that has worked wonders for him. Number 5. Egan Bernal With his recent contract extension with the Ineos outfit, the former Colombian Tour de France champion got a passport to infinite money that he may not have got if he had signed it after his serious injury this winter. His signing in December as Giro d'Italia champion brought him an excellent salary of 2.8 million and it will stay that way for the next five campaigns. Well done to the condor of Zippy Guerra. Number 4. Geraint Thomas The Welsh Geranium has renewed for two seasons with the Ineos team. Being also the best paid rider of the team, despite the fact that at 35 years old, he is no longer the same rider who won the Tour de France in 2018. That's a lot of years in the British structure, and he surely knows many secrets about strange mononucleosis injuries, arrhythmias that cause withdrawals, and rear teammates' whiteness attacks in many races. 
So maybe think of Murta and not performance when you see his incredible salary of 3.5 million euro per year. Number 3. Peter Sagan Another case of a cyclist in clear decline, but who has managed to trick the Total Energies team into paying him as if he were in his triple world champion days. After 9 consecutive seasons in the top 10 of the UCI rankings, the Slovak has been in a downturn for 2 seasons and seems to have hit rock bottom with the French 2nd division team. In addition, he has taken his brother and his sidekick Daniel Oss with him, so possibly this 2 season contract in exchange for 5.5 million euro per year is the lottery ticket that we all hope to get one day. Impressive. Number 2. Chris Froome undoubtedly the biggest heist in the recent history of the sport. We still don't know how the ever likeable Froomey has been able to fool the owners of Israel Premier Tech, although seeing the Fuglesan case we can already see that they don't know too much about cycling. We do not know if they believed that Froome was going to return to fight for a grand tour. And there are still some people who justify that the return in advertising for having the four time champion on their staff was going to be enough. And so, not a bad return for a cyclist who has spent 3 years below 670th place in the UCI rankings and who in return gets 5.5 million euro a year. Gotta say, absolute legend. Number 1. Today Pagacar At least justice is done in the highest position of this ranking, the number 1 for the number 1 in the world. The best rider in the world has recently renewed with UAE Team Emirates until the 2027 campaign. And surely it is not the last renewal seeing his impressive performances to date. His 6 million euro seems little to us, compared to what he can generate anyway. And a complete insult when we note that he only earns half a million more per year than Froome in his employment contract. But that's the world of cycling. I hope you liked this video as much as I did. We'll see you in the next one.